Hey guys, I'm about to try some immortality tea. This tea is made from the reishi mushroom, which is like a very woodsy, dry, hard kind of mushroom that has been used in China for thousands of years as a, for medicinal purposes. And it's so good for you, I've never had before, so I want to share this with you. Reishi is the name in Japanese and it means 10,000 year old mushroom. And in Chinese, this woody mushroom is called Lin Qi or Lin Zi. It means mushroom of immortality. It has the power to cleanse and detoxify our body. To learn more about this, please check out my website. Now to make the tea, you'll need a pot of filtered water. One mushroom makes about one gallon of tea and here I'm just separating it, um, breaking down in small pieces. If you find this hard to do by hand, you can use a pair of scissors. And you can see that this, um, even a fresh uh, reishi is still has a very dry, woody, fibery texture. Um, the texture reminds me a lot like that soft craft wood, um, like the balsa wood. So you just bring it to boil and then turn the heat down. Put a lid on, let it simmer for at least half an hour. And now let's go talk to my favorite lady at the farmer's market. Look at all these beautiful mushrooms that she grew. We got the shiitake, woodier mushroom, more shiitake, and oyster mushrooms. Mm. Hello, girl. <laughs> Say hi to everyone. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Funny, see, we we have movie here. Yeah. <laughs> From the beginning, put in there boil. After boil, slow to simmer for half an hour. Long. Okay. Reuse. <laughs> don't wash it. Drink warm. Don't drink cold. Right. Same thing you can reuse. Total three times. Oh. But the first time is the strongest, the best. Okay. Okay. Don't wash. Don't wash it. Can reuse total three times. Thirty minutes is up. And this smells woodsy. <laughs> now you can definitely let it simmer up to two hours. Um, it's just gonna make your tea richer in flavor and you know darker, more potent. By the way, did you know that mushrooms contain vitamin D? This vitamin is so crucial for our bone health. In order for our body to absorb calcium, we need vitamin D. They say that just 10 minutes of sunlight a day is enough to meet the daily requirement. Now this may not sound like much, but it can be difficult to find sun in the winter depending on where you live, or if you work indoors. In that case, you can get it through foods like salmon, preferably wild caught, sardines, milk with vitamin D added, eggs, or mushrooms, or even supplements. Smells like freshly cooked brown rice. Let's see what it tastes like now. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, like brown rice water, but with a hint of bitterness. Now I'm sure there's other ways to make this tea. If you guys know of any, please share with us in the comments below. But this is the way how I was told to make it by my favorite lady at my local farmer's market. I feel so fortunate to have her because she grows everything herself from all different kinds of mushrooms to greens. Um, she's just a really wonderful lady and so knowledgeable about her food. Oh wow, there's even more flavors I can taste now that the tea is actually cooling down a bit. I'm really liking this. It's it's not that bitter actually. Yeah, <laughs> if you guys get a chance to try some reishi, definitely give it a try. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe here to this channel for more videos. And I shall see you guys soon. Have a healthy, lovely, fantastic week. Bye!